Hey guys, we're back with The Walking Dead, episode 3. And let's see if there's some kind of intro we can watch. Looks like this is our lucky day. Well, it doesn't look that lucky. I don't like it. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Well, it seems like we're back in Macon. Still hanging out at the motel. And we're going back to get some You made up your mind yet? Medication. About what? When it comes to the getting food? the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Why would I want to stay here? It's like Yeah, we should, we should stay. No, camp. we shouldn't. We Damn made it. An all right go of it so far. That fucking Press. figures. It's only a Press matter of time until you and Lily put a white picket fence around that shithole. Actually, I think Kenny's right. We should move on. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Well, we didn't leave much good. in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Shit. You okay? The Oops. ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. <sighs> okay, let's take a look around. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Yes, I can see that. Let's try to climb the ladder. Well, we shouldn't try to climb the ladder. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Yeah, it's too peaceful here to be um to be safe. <sighs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? Her dad's her dad died. Yeah, she She'll be fine. fine. She's tough. If you say so. You're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Well, we're the most uh, important people here, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Let's switch on the... What do you call it? What's, what's that thing called? Winch? Oh, it's a winch. Okay. Girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I don't know. I hope not. I wouldn't blame her. What do you think? Christ. I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. You always make it easy for yourself, Kenny. Let's go. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What did he say? What did he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. Yeah, especially because he killed his uh, little brother first. And then we let uh, Andy... I think it was Andy. Was it Andy or Denny? Let him live. Sure, you're up for this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, oh. Shit. Yeah, Kenny, you. You got it. Whatever. You don't have shit. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help yeah, her. Yeah, we gotta help her. There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Shoot. Okay, now it's. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. We don't know we're here. What do you mean? Okay, we, so. We leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. So, in my opinion, she's dead because she's been bitten already, and uh, we would only put ourselves in danger if we kill her now. Okay, I don't really know what to shoot the zombie. Fuck, man, you're not hitting anything. <laughs> I can't shoot the zombies. Go now. Okay. Let's go. I was gonna try to shoot the zombies and maybe uh, give her like a little piece, talk to her maybe for for before she turns. But uh, I guess I'm not allowed to shoot the zombies, or it's not possible to shoot the zombies. So let's finish what we came for. Pick up some crap. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't yes, forget sir. underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Okay, let's pick up some stuff. Oh, not bad. Oh, come on. Open the cupboard. She's gone. There's not much time now. Hurry up. Die. And some more. Oh, I like. I like it. Putting in, picking up. Crap. Great thing to do. I think 19. that's everything. Oh, I got everything. Girl awesome. For nothing, then. Up and over. I'm like faster than lightning. Okay, let's go. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Kenny. Oops. Come on, Kenny, help me. Come on, Kenny. I'm always really bad at pressing these buttons that really fast. Just can't do it. Let's fucking get out. Let's go. Nice. Shoot him in the head. It's not like a pilot's hand that would uh, keep, keep away bullets. Can we please move on? What was that? They're everywhere! You took care of yourself, didn't you? Like, Kenny, you're such a lame ass bitch. Yeah, as I said, I'm really bad at pressing these buttons fast. Whenever I'm, I'm with uh, some friends and we play these Olympic games on on um, different consoles, I always lose because most of these games, the game mechanics are pressing buttons really fast. I have no problems pressing them like in a certain order, but pressing them like really fast, I'm not good at it. 
Maybe there's some kind of technique. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Awesome stickers. I actually uh, collected stickers when I was when I was a little boy. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? You got everything. Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. Because I'm We're the fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. Pick up or if we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. Yeah, we have We're to go eventually. Safe. So now I can Take choose what I want wall, to really. in the first place. It's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. So you changed your mind. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm yeah, sorry. Boss Somebody needs to Kenny, make executive you know, decisions like you have for the biggest group mouth in the world, but whenever it comes to anymore. don't start with me either. Can decision making in a panicky situation. Like food. It could be so much worse. You When's the out. last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We yeah, have we everything still have a lot of we need. Me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? I'm sorry, we I'm pressing buttons. So I don't mean to. For more station wagons. Everything I'm doing that very to us unlogical is another things. excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want I just is want to get out of here. Piece of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. She was dead Stop anyway. Whining. It made the most sense in the moment. It's not He's like right. you had We've to make We've been putting our lives on the line me. doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. I think Doc is stealing stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. All I know is whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! For what? For letting me die? Almost letting me die, not helping me? Oh, things are coming to a head. God, I can't believe can't I'm spending that. my time with these Well, I think dickheads. you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh, oh that's not a talking look. She wants to do something else. She wants to talk. So, if I could really uh, make the decisions here. I would take Carly and I would take Clementine and probably that new guy Ben and uh, leave everybody else.
Because I think we, uh, us four, we would just get along fine. I mean, Carly is tough, she can shoot. Ben seems like a nice guy, and he's like fully grown, so he can, uh, he can, um, pull his weight. And he, uh, Kenny can leave with this stupid family. I think Katya is nice, but Kenny and Duck, I mean, they can do whatever they want. And I kind of miss Glenn, the the Asian guy. I just uh, I just finished episode two of the Walking Dead TV show, and I really like the Asian guy, whose name is Glenn also, I think. So um, uh, we're about sixteen minutes in. I'm not gonna take a break. I'm gonna talk to. I'm gonna go back to Clementine and talk to her about stickers because I can relate to stickers I love stickers sometimes uh, in my lonely moments I think about picking up uh, back uh, childhood hobbies uh, maybe not collecting stickers but I thought about uh, starting to collect uh, basketball cards again I did that for like four or five years when I was when I was uh, 10 11 and I had a great time. So, yeah, but whatever. Let's talk to Clementine. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you like it here, Clementine? No. Who would like it here? Do you like it here? It sucks. I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Yeah. So, as I mentioned earlier, I finished the the second season of the TV show. Okay, I'll Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh, Carly. She wants... Okay. I, I think about, think you, about too. you, too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Well, all the people I trust already know. Clementine knows and Carly knows. The rest doesn't need to know. Forget, Forget it. it. I have. You should too. Larry's gone, but he knew. If he didn't tell Lily outright, he probably said enough to make her wonder. And I know you told Kenny we met in your parents' drugstore, even though the first thing I ever said to you was to keep a damn lid on it. I'll tell you what I would tell anybody, apocalypse or not. There comes a time when you can get out ahead of something like this and discuss it on your terms. Do it before that chance is taken away. Well, I don't know. I don't think this would be the right idea. No, I'm not doing that. People have enough to worry about. What are you so afraid of? Three months ago I told you to tell no one and now I'm telling you to tell everyone. Do you think it's because they'll turn on you? We almost got eaten for fuck's sake. Things are different now. I hope you change your mind. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, I thought we were going to talk about making love. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but 
we all know that that could change at any second. So, what's a mailbag? Um, I'm just gonna open Google and see what a mailbag is. Because I really, I really want to know. Mailbag. Mailbag. Oh, I'm, oh god. I'm, I'm such a... You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. So Melbeck is uh, this wine. Full-bodied Melbeck. I thought she was it's like some kind of sleeping bag, bag or something, but no Melbeck. So I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I don't like wine. I don't drink a lot of wine, so I don't know. I'm sorry. You uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. So before I take a short break. I don't know what you guys think, but um, I already stated earlier that I only trust Carly and Clementine and I don't trust Kenny because he's letting people die, because he's scared in panicky situations and Lily is kind of... Uh, she's too extreme to be trusted because she always wants to be the leader and, and stuff like that so and, and Carly suggested that we tell everyone and we have to cho choose who we trust and who we don't and I already told all the people I trust so I'm not gonna tell um, the Kenny family and Lily what I did I might tell Ben I could tell Ben I like Ben so let's take a short break and I'll see you in the next part. Hey guys, we're